Hey guys, I just wanted to share that I've been working really hard trying to get the lessons I'm planning to be in digital form, so I'm going to put a post about this later, but I just wanted to show um, making some of the, um, to making a GLAD narrative input, um, some of the process that I've done. It's going to be based off this book, A Boy Called Slow by Joseph Brujak, and so the back of each of these cards have the text in there. Um, I have my title, my title text, and then as you go through, I couldn't find the pictures that specifically I wanted, so I have, um, I just made the art for it, and um, I just wanted to show you guys, because some of them are pretty funny, um, and it's a really great story about Sitting Bull and how he got his name, and as I go through, obviously I need more space than what's in my office because they are just all over the place. But I wanted to just take a picture while I had them all set up because this is so exciting to be finally done. So from there, I have to zoom over to my desk where I have the next part. And this is with all of the words and the quotes and the thought bubbles in there and um, so they all move and so of course when you're doing the lesson you wouldn't have them all in at once you would have them with that part um, so you can see there and I had a really hard time drawing horses but I just went for it I was like we're gonna have a growth mindset and I really fell in love with drawing buffalo they are pretty much the cutest thing ever and ears like this one for some reason drawing an ear was really tough for me um i used some symbols to show the names um and i just wanted to show you guys you know what was going on and i know some of them are a little bit harder to to see but they're seriously all over i looked up some crow war paint for this one and so i was really proud how that turned out um because they were the favorite enemy of Sitting Bull's dad. So you can see all this language in there and all this stuff. And it takes forever to make this because you have to, um, well, for me, I did the art, but even if you just print it off, you have to cut them and then laminate them and put them all together. So. Um, just, you know, kind of a little behind the scenes sneak peek at what teachers do during the summer. And you guys know sometimes I'm a little bit extra, so I had to do the art on there. Um, and I'm almost done. Just a couple more. And, and the symbols really do make, make a lot more sense with the, um, with the story being told. Also, bonus, here's a sleepy kitty at the end of it. Alright you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Bye!